Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Quinn of the Lone UAV, and today I'm bringing you some Team Deathmatch gameplay on the map Courtyard, and this is some World at War gameplay. Uh, in this game, I was using the M1A1 Carbine. My perks were Bandolier, Stopping Power, and Dead Silence. If you guys are going to play any of World at War in the next week or so until Mono Over 3 comes out, I'd highly recommend this class. Either with the M1A1 or the Guerrier. Uh, I didn't have any attachments on this game, but uh, the Aperture Sight seems to be the way to go with this weapon. Alright, so Mono Over 3 is a week away, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting really, really excited. I honestly can't wait, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a couple videos in the first couple days that Mono Over 3 is out. I don't know, but I, I just can't wait. Like, I'm actually so excited for this game. Uh, Black Ops was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great, and the same with Mono Over 2, and I really hope that Mono Over 3 is like the end-all, say-all fix. If this game flops, then I'm kind of, I'm going back to playing World at War, and Call of Duty is going to fail. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. So when you're playing Team Deathmatch, though, you want to try to stay to the middle of the map, or the outskirts of the map. Depending on the weapon you're using, I would highly recommend if you're using a single-shot weapon, or a, a three-birth, like an M16 or a G11, to not stay in the middle of the map like I'm doing here. But since I wasn't playing against the strongest players in the world, I just decided to kind of go with it and whatever. Uh, if you are playing on this map, Courtyard, I would highly recommend using a Thompson submachine gun or a PPSH, something like that. Don't use the MP40 because that's kind of newbie, but uh, that's just what I would recommend if you guys are going to play any bit of World of War. But uh, this game's pretty much dead and it's like three years old, so I doubt you guys really care. But like I was saying, uh, I would when you're using a gun like an M16, the best thing to do is stick to the outskirts of the map and always have your back to the outskirts of the map. So you can't you if you get shot from behind, it's probably going to be just from some little camper guy with ghost or whatever in the corner. So you will probably win more gunfights, and you want to try to keep co some form of cover between you and your enemy. Right here, unfortunately, I just got panic knife. That's kind of unfortunate. And I think my only other death in this game was like a noob tube or something like that. So that's kind of kind of a bummer. But oh well, there's nothing I can do about that. The one thing I am gonna say though that's really huge is no matter what gun you're using, even if you're using overkill, um, well maybe not if you're using overkill actually, but always get rid of your pistol. Or if you're using a bad SMG as a secondary or like an, a machine pistol, something like that, you're much better off picking up a, another gun. The one thing I am going to say though is if you, if you have a single shot weapon, don't pick up another single fire weapon. You want to try to get an SMG or an assault rifle or something like that. It kind of goes for any game. It doesn't even need to be Call of Duty. I, I'm not sure if you can just pick up guns in Battlefield though because I have not played that game. But that's basically what you want to do. Is you want to give your chan yourself the best chance to win every gunfight you can get into. As you can see right here, I have both an M1A1 and an MP40. So I can deal with long range fights with the M1A1 and close range fights with the MP40. Now the one thing I am going to say though that's really, really crucial for Team Deathmatch is staying away from your teammates. Your teammates are almost like a portable radar for yourself. Because when you know where your teammates are, you kind of have an idea of where the enemy team is spawning or where they may be at. If you stay around with your teammates a lot, then there's a good chance that uh, they're going to be kind of stupid, get you killed, and if you're using a silenced weapon, especially, your teammates usually won't. Unfortunately, there, I just got noob tube. That kind of sucks. Okay, so when you stay away from your teammates, though, especially if you're using a silenced weapon or cold blooded or something like that, that's the best thing to do. You can really get an element of surprise and kind of lone wolf. Obviously, uh, the best way to do this would be playing free-for-all if you don't want to rely on teammates. But Team Deathmatch is a great game mode to build stats, KDs, and get lots of points. It's a really easy game mode to get lots of points. If you can get plus 30 kills a game, then you're easily going to rank up pretty fast. There's only two other game modes in Call of Duty that I would highly recommend playing to level up, which would be Search and Destroy and Headquarters. Besides that, Team Deathmatch is the way to go. In Modern Warfare 3, you guys can probably expect a lot of Team Deathmatch gameplay from me, because that's what I really enjoy playing. I do enjoy playing Ground War, but in Modern Warfare 2, it was kind of just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, grenades everywhere, and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to see how Modern Warfare 3 plays out, and uh, if it is a game where I can play Ground War, then I will play that. But if not, I'm just going to play Team Deathmatch. That's basically the game mode I've always loved playing, and that is kind of my plan. So the gameplay is wrapping up now. If you guys enjoyed the video, could you please leave a rating? That will be awesome. Check out my channel. There will be a link in the description. And have a nice day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.